everybody. Um, before I start this video, I just wanted to ask for your support, your prayers, your good thoughts for my good friend Ashley. Uh, she is one of my Patreons. She is one of my mods in my group. She is a moderator in my live chat. She is my diamond painting best friend. She, I met her, you know, through my channel and. Um, right now she needs a lot of prayers because she is in the hospital, um, very sick. She's in the ICU. She has pneumonia and COVID and, um, I just want to get it out there that if, if you believe in prayer or whatever it is that you do when something's bad happening, please do it now for my friend Ashley, if you could please. And, um, I would greatly appreciate it. And I think she could really use it and would appreciate it as well. So, um, th I just found this out as I'm getting ready to, um, get this video ready. So I wanted to add that in real quick before the video starts and hope that, I hope that she comes out of this and recovers quickly. So, thank you. Welcome back, everyone, to Diamond Painting by Donnie. I am Donnie, and today I am unboxing a Dreamer, Dreamer Designs Diamond Painting that came out last week um, or so. Uh, it came out on April 30th. That's when I ordered it. And this one is called Luna Lovegood. It's not on their website now. So I'm not sure if it's because they named it Luna Lovegood or whatever. But it's not even listed anymore. But this is what it looks like. So the artist is... Curtis Reykjavik and he's the same artist that did Hazel which is the one I unboxed um, most previously from Dreamer Designs. Um, the diamond painting is 60 by 80 and their price on their website is $59.95 well at least it was for this diamond painting and um, I just try and find coupons so that I'm not having to pay the full price for um, the diamond painting. I had a coupon and it only worked one time so I don't remember where I got it but I just try to find those. They have a Mother's Day one that was out yesterday but I had already placed an order on Friday so I didn't order again. But they have it on the bottom of the box here. Whoop, upside down. It will show you a picture and it tells you the name, the artist, and the size. So you know what's in the box. And here we go. Limited space in the living room, so just... I have to be careful because an avalanche could happen at any time. So Dreamer, Dreamer Design sends their diamond paintings in this cloth-like reusable bag that I haven't found a um, purpose for them yet, but I've been saving them. If you know what I could reuse these for, please um, let me know down in the comments because they're really nice bags and I don't want... don't. I don't want to throw them away. Okay, so first we have the toolkit. Comes in this very swanky bag. I love this bag. And their color is purple, so everything will have purple in it. Let's see what comes in the toolkit. All right. We've got some pointy tweezers, very sharp, with a cap to keep yourself from hurting yourself. We have two drill pins, one with a plastic tip and one with a metal tip. And I do carry um, both of these types of tips in my shop. So if you just want this plastic tip, 
um, you'll know where to find it. I'll link my shop down below. It's drillpenfrenzy.com. Just in case I forget to put it down there, but it's always in there. Um, you get one. Uh, I thought you got two. Yep, yeah, here's the second one. You get two of these little pots for wax. And the wax that's inside, it is covered in plastic. So if you try and poke it and it won't go through, you've got to remember to peel off the plastic cover that's on it before poking your pen in. It's pretty thick too, so there's what it looks like. And you also get two of these uh, pen grips or squishies. Uh, let's see, they have a row straightener, two trays. These are the small white trays. And let's see what else. There is a baggie with a bunch of baggies. And then there are a couple of multi-placers. This one has a three-placer and a six-placer in there. So I use this kind of a bag. I use it like to clean my glasses if I don't have anything nearby because it's super, super soft. I love how that feels. All right, so there is the toolkit. I'll just pull everything out so I can move the bag. So there's the canvas wrapped with a pretty purple ribbon and our drills. Oh, this has two bags of drills. All right, well, for a 60 by 80, yeah, you got a lot of drills. So there's my empty bag. I'll set these drills to the side here so we can look at the canvas. And because we're in a limited space, it might be hard to get the whole image into view, but I will do my best. All right, let's get this ribbon off. And their canvas, it feels like it's made out of uh, the polyester material that like Diamond Dots makes theirs out of. All right, so the first thing we see here at the top is the name of the canvas with the thumbnail. And it does say that it's copyright legally licensed from Curtis Reykjavik. Uh, design size 60 by 80 centimeters, which is 23.6 inches by 31 and a half inches. And then here is all their social media information. And they have a key right here at the top right. Now, because this is kind of bent from being in the package, I'm going to, and then you can only do this if you have a poured glue canvas, which this is a poured glue canvas. Do not do this if you have double-sided adhesive because it will ruin your glue on your canvas, your sticker, I should say, if it's double-sided adhesive. But this is poured glue and it will not ruin it. But I'm going to do this to flatten it. So when we look at it, I'm not fighting with the curls. You just go the opposite direction. And here's our little inventory sticker. It's curled up too. I'll fix that in a minute. Alright, let's see what we got. And then you get, they put a foam core in the middle with your instruction sheet which has um, uh, where to follow them on Facebook, Instagram and uh, yeah and then the back has all the instructions on how to diamond paint alright let me move that to the side and let's see what we got for this diamond painting. All right, so I rolled it backwards so we can look at this. Luna is one of my most favorite characters from Harry Potter. And I wish I could just zoom out without 
getting too far out for you, but let's just do this for now. So look at her wild and crazy hair that is typical Luna Lovegood. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Okay. On Dreamer Designs, what they do is they list all their colors on the key here, and then they put their ABs at the end. I believe it's like that on all of them. So this one has one, two, three... Five AB colors. I'm not going to remember which one is which, but I can start with one color, which is the O, and point that out because that's going to be an AB. And we'll start here. It's in the, the her sunglasses or whatever kind of glasses she calls them. So all the these, there's O's all around her glasses throughout here and around a little bit in her eyes um, even on the other side we have more yeah obviously it's the same as the other side those are all the O's that are mixed in there and let's see her earrings have O's coming off of them down there and there's um, O's right here there's some O's in her chin on her nose there's a couple there's a few in her lips and around the lips right there. Then we have more here in her necklace. The O's are the white spots there in the necklace there. And same with this part of it. We have more, more O's around the quibbler, the border, and the whites in the background. Those are all going to be A, B. And let's see, do we have any more O's? We have a couple on the on her ring, well, four of them. And that looks like all I can see for the O. Look at that. Look at that detail in her shirt or her jacket, whatever that is. It's so cool. I love those colors. I love the art this artist's way of portraying the character. So yes, this does have a key at the top right and the bottom left. So we can see there's one right here too. And the bottom of their canvas, they have, it says down here, free dreamer lifetime warranty. We have you covered to ensure lasting perfection. Enjoy dreamer uh-oh insurance against accidents as well. So I'm guessing, you know, if you lose drills, drop your drills, whatnot, that they will replace them. That's what I'm guessing that means. Okay, the next AB color is the letter K, and I'm seeing K in her hair, and there is a lot of it, so it looks like it's going to be a yellowish color, and the other color, since I'm down here, is the bright green, the up arrow, which I see it right here in the her belt buckle is what that looks like that is. Yeah, I think that's what that is or a buckle, just a, it looks like a button, a big button. Um, let's see, more Ks. I'm trying to see if there's other colors that we can look at down here. Okay, the number six and the T. So, I don't see, T is a pink and the six is a blue, but I don't see either of those here. Okay, there is a few sixes right here on her wrist and there's more right here those sixes I mean those are sixes and then the T I'm starting to see them right here uh, in the sleeve of her shirt or jacket uh, so six T okay the K there's more of her sh the string of her hair there there I mean there is a bunch of K's throughout all over her hair everywhere you you look we've got uh, more T's he here and here throughout here we've got them um, there and there here here up here and through there so and then there's more down here in her jacket so her jacket has um, 
I think the majority of those teas, but then that, that bright green also, ABs for those are gonna be here in the ribbons of her hair. All the bright, brighter greens, those are gonna be AB. You get more here and then some right there. And let's see, do we have any more teas? Um, let's see, get up here towards her face. Um, got more of the black, bright greens right here. And in her glasses, there's those bright green spots. Those are gonna be AB. And the six, all of this light blue right here is six. So that's gonna be AB. It's kind of strange because that's gonna be AB, but this one doesn't have AB in it, except for the middle parts of her eyes where the whites are. Um, but it looks like that would be it. But there, there is a lot of the K all throughout her hair. So that's just going to make her, the those zaps of sparkle show up all throughout her hair. This will be a fun one to do because it's got, the background is different colors, but it has, there are big color blocked areas that you can whip out really quick. Uh, the hair is going to be, you know, a color blocked confetti. There's big sections of one color, either in a line or in blocks. Um, and then it switches to another color with the same, you know, four, like a four placer would be able to do a lot of it. And same with her, you know, face, the um, glasses. I mean, the eyes are a little bit con confetti there. Her, the glasses themselves have a lot of color switches, but I mean, there's a handful of colors. It's not just like two colors, but it's got, so, you know, you might consider that to be confetti. But the jacket, I think, is the biggest area that's going to have um, the most color switches because it's pretty wild. And, you know, here in the chest area, you've got different colors and the necklace, maybe the quibbler notebook, the quibbler here, mag the quibbler magazine might have a bit of color switches, but there is a lot of color blocking going on everywhere that you look even down here in the colors of her, the bottom part of her jacket, but the background especially, there's not a ton of background, but there's enough to, you know, for someone who doesn't like color blocking to maybe um, get tired of it, but I'll enjoy it because there's a ton, lots. I mean, this, this is all black it looks like, and then, you know, we've got purple color blocks too, all throughout the background all the way around so there is luna love good and i'm i'm really excited about this one i love it it is super cute all right so let's see there are 58 colors including four ab's and i didn't have any of that information because like i said it was removed from their website, so I'm having to write it down after I've gotten it um, for AB. That's pretty cool. And this one is square. I didn't even realize that this was square. I thought it was going to be round, actually. So that is interesting to have um, something this large as a square. But... With those multi-placers, it makes doing squares quite a bit easier. And this is something they include, which is a inventory, I guess, of some sorts that you can reference to, or you can cut it up and put it on your containers because this is a sticker. And what I would do is, because I don't, I don't use this number here on the side, because it can get confusing because of the fact that, say, see how we have a number six and we have a number four. And if I use those numbers on the side, it really throws me off all the time if I were to use these. Because six and four 
is not six and four on your canvas. It's uh, the percent sign and that square box there. So I just cut out the symbol and the DMC number and that's what I use when I am doing my diamond painting because I just look at the symbol to see what I need next. And I have my way of um, organizing them so they're easy to find. But these are very convenient to have when, um, especially when doing a, a very large diamond painting like this. Hi guys. <laughs> This one says hi. Um, have you done the dancing with that girl drinking acid? No, like the girl drinking acid. I have no idea what you're talking about. In the craft room that's hanging up. A uh, girl drinking acid. She's not drinking acid. What is it? I don't know, but I don't have any diamond paintings with the girl drinking acid. <laughs> Such a silly kid. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is, so it just says Luna Love Good on it, and this says Two of Two. So let's start with this first one. But this actually has the bottom numbers. Let's go with this one because let's go start with number one and go through the colors that way. Lots of black in this one. This one has all our black, which is number two. So number one is a purple. I'm just trying to figure out how to open this up. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yay, I'm fighting with drills. Okay, here we go. Zooming you in so you can get a closer look at the diamonds. All right. So here we go. We have lots of black. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of black. And we get into some other colors here. There's the first one. And then here's our second strip we got. Number six, a red, more purple. Look at that, two bags of that purple there. And then some little bits of colors for the greens and other greens and grays. And here's some more purple, number 550, my favorite purple. So it looks like there might be more than one bag. So let's count. That was one. And then we got two, three, four, four bags of 550. <laughs> and then look more purple and a pinkish purple. Yeah, and look at that beautiful pink. Oh, I love it. All right. And then we've got some more pinks and reds. I love the coloring of this diamond painting. I, I love the bright pinks and purples and reds and to put them all together to make such a beautiful piece of work. And there's all different types of blues. We've got 20, 824. Well, well, actually, we have 823, two bags of that, then 824, 25, and 26, and then another really pretty mulberry color. All right, so that's the first bag. One second, and I will pull out the next bag. All right, so here we go with our second bag. And this one will have all our ABs in it. All right. All 
trying to figure out which one's first. Okay. No, nope. looks like this. This one is first. So we got starting with 30. And so there's little bits of colors here. Oh, I love that blue. And then there's two bags of this color. And, ooh, look at that, pretty pink. Love it. That's probably, I'm thinking that's probably part of her jacket. And that was number 38, so where's 39? Here we go. Here's our next ones. We have more pinks and pretty peach color. And we have two bags of this. This is probably part of her hair. This, well, brownish. I'm guessing it's part of her hair. And then there's a gray. All right. And then we have one more strip with the rest of them. So here's 48, which is the baby blue color. There's more pinks and purples and beautiful blues. More, more brownish colors. And here's our first um, AB color. Wait a minute. Looks like they had five ABs. I missed one. Which one did I miss? It was... No, I showed O, which was first. Okay, so that is... O is this one, this white right here. And then K, which is in throughout her hair mostly, is the yellow. And then the up arrow was the the, the green, neon, this uh, bright green. And then the T, which there wasn't much of, but it's in her jacket, is this light purple. And then six is this blue here. And if you don't know what ABs are, they are, they're coated, they're diamonds that are coated with this special coating. And they call it AB because it resembles the Northern Lights. So they shortened it to AB for Aurora Borealis. And what, what, what it basically does is gives your diamond painting a zap of sparkle right where those, um, ABs are placed. So you can kind of see how it's changing colors as it shifts. And that's that coating. The one that you can see the coating on the best would be the white. Here, let me turn it over so you can get a glimpse at that. See how it kind of looks purplish? That's that coating. And that is Luna Love Good for you guys. So let me know if you ordered this as well, because I, or if you found out why, I sent them a message. If you found out why it's no longer on their website, um, yeah, just let me know what, what you found out, if you've ordered it, if you've ordered from this artist before, because, you know, I had never heard of them before I bought the um, Hazel diamond painting that I unboxed not too long ago, and I actually found that I really like his work. So I've actually bought three of them now. The other one I'm still waiting on and I can't wait to see what else he comes out with. So let me know down below what you think of this diamond painting, what you think of these, um, this new artist that Di Dreamer, Dreamer Designs has taken on, um, to contract with. And yeah, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button on your way down. The thumbs up thing, you know. And then uh, hit subscribe if you haven't. Because if you do, you can get notified of all the other videos that I post by hitting the bell afterwards. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. So leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care everyone. Bye.